Welcome back to Tompadura TV and to segment three of this particular interview with Calvin Thompson, now in opposition. And the question is, how are you going to approach this other period of opposition as Calvin Thompson in the seat of Wales? Sure. Look, uh, first, Tom, can I say that I'm, I'm really appreciative of the, uh, the voters in the electorate of Wills, the people of Wills, for the support that they've shown me in the recent federal election, as they have on, on previous occasions. It's, it's a great responsibility, and I'm, I'm very proud to represent this electorate. Uh, I've, I've announced that I don't intend to uh, uh, contest the, the shadow ministry. I was a, a shadow minister for 10 years uh, during the Howard years, so it's a case of being there and done that. And, and one of the things that I, I found both as a shadow minister and as a, uh, a member of the executive parliamentary secretary for trade and parliamentary secretary for schools is that uh, there are quite severe limitations on, on what you're allowed to say. Um, you're expected not to speak outside your portfolio, and even when you uh, do speak within your portfolio. The leader's office always likes to know what, what you're saying and when you're going to say it. So these things are, are pretty restrictive when it seems to me that the world has very serious challenges. You, you look at issues to do with food, to do with energy, to do with water, to do with climate change, um, war, terrorism, all, all sorts of issues where I think that uh, there are areas where globally and nationally we could do a lot better and I want to be able to speak out about those things and not feel constrained by uh, front bench responsibilities. In fact, uh, I've noticed over the last few years uh, that uh, when uh, ex-leaders uh, of parties and people who have been in government actually come on um, and talk about issues in general, uh, and they're no longer in politics, they're no longer involved with what uh, they were doing for a job, it's actually very interesting because they sort of open up yes. uh, the discussion. They open up the real problems. They, uh, they talk about things on a more human level and uh, their concerns becomes our concerns. So we actually listen to people who've been there and done that. Yes. But we are conscious of the fact that that is in the past. So the people in, in the job today, they have different set of circumstances and they have to tackle with those. Yes. Therefore, uh, it's very good, in fact, this democratic process because it throws out uh, people into back, back uh, amongst the population who have led a bit of, of Mao Zedong's revisionism. <laughs> it, 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 is, it is always interesting, as you say, Tom, to hear uh, former leaders and, and senior uh, political figures talking about policy issues because uh, obviously they, they have a lot of experience, they've learned a lot, uh, and on the other hand, because uh, they don't have to worry about th um, this force or that force organising to kick them out, they often speak very candidly about things and say exactly what they think. So, so this can be a, a very useful and enlightening process. Uh, I think we do have to understand that uh, people who are talking like that are able to do so knowing that they are not at risk of being voted out and so on because uh, they are no longer involved in in the public office process and the they are the grandparents and, of politics and, and those and those <laughs> who are presently public office holders have to have regard to what people in the electorate think and what various uh, interest groups uh, in the electorate think and the, and they do worry about you know if I say this or, or do this uh, what will the consequences be? Who might organise against me, and so on? And that, that of course, brings with it restrictions. But that's, that's and so true of families, um, because you know, when you have children of your own, uh, it's one thing. Uh, you know, when they are very small, and and you grow up with them, and then they become independent, and they then start a new cycle with their own families. If they're families, and if they're on their own, it's almost the same thing because they are reaching adulthood. They have to. Uh, manage their own affairs, whether on your own or in a couple or in company with a large family, small families, it doesn't really matter. Your circumstances are very different from your parents. Oh, that, that but your parents always back you up. Well, it, it's, uh, true, it's true that the world changes and, and therefore 
both you know, responsibilities as a parent or responsibilities in government change with, with changing circumstances and uh, the world is moving faster uh, in, in many respects than it's ever done before. So that, that of course throws up new challenges for people who are involved in public and policy. And the information that we get today, I mean, I've, I've been fortunate to, uh, to actually, you know, engage with modern technology. I have my YouTube program, uh, I've had Tom here, it's been fantastic for me to, to be able to learn more and more about uh, the power of the internet. Uh, there are many people in the world who don't have access, so it's, it's a, a big divide today between uh, people who are really busy with their jobs and don't have time for social networking, yes. as against people who are young and they social network all the time, and people, I have contacts with people from overseas. You know, I speak to people overseas a lot more sometimes now through the net yes. than I speak to my neighbour. It's, it's, and it's it, a bit it, of a, you know, it's, yes, it's, it's a challenge. It's interesting that you mention that because I've just been thinking about that in the last few days in, in terms of our political system. Uh, you have the traditional and the conventional media uh, and much of that is, is dominated by large corporations such as News Limited which have um, right-wing politics and uh, 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 pro-big business philosophy. But the, the alternative media, the, the social media, uh, is frequently dominated uh, by uh, people of very different political perspective and therefore you find that uh, people who are only hearing the, the traditional conventional media, they have one set of views about the world and people who are only engaged with social media have very different views about Not the world. Not only that, but we express that because we're coming to the end of the segment, Calvin. It's a very good, um, a very good time to actually conclude uh, because on, on the social media issues because I can tell you that Tom Padula TV is the new type of uh, engaging engagement, uh, uh, social engagement mm, sure. that people uh, are trying to get into, or you know, some people are, are so much more advanced than I am mm. in this respect, and some people are so you know they have to catch up. So this type of independent, in, uninformed in many ways, because we don't get uh, the information, we get the information through the media. Mm. We, don't, we get the information from what we see around us. We don't have uh, necessarily the reports that a government minister, uh, people in government have. So a lot of the times you're expressing opinions about things that you don't really know about. Mm -hmm. And that's the, well, that's social media. But if you get 200 of these uninformed views, you actually get something out of it. Oh, yeah. and, and, a, and a sort of a, a guidance about what people actually want. And so once upon a time you needed to visit, and I think you still have to walk the, the streets of Wales, mm. but I think social media is even so much more important it, it is today. In, it is increasingly important, no doubt about it. It's important politically and it's important in the rest of our lives. And on that note, we've finished with this particular program. I'd like to invite you back... Uh, more, even more regularly, uh, Calvin, I'll be more organised to tackle different uh, themes and issues uh, that uh, exist in our society. I'm enjoying this work immensely. I hope you have a very good time uh, representing the people of Wales in opposition. But, you know, you received, I think, in opposition some of the highest two party preferred votes in in Australia yeah one of the, one of the best results in in the country they're still they're still counting Tom even a couple of weeks after the election so we've just got to wait and see what the final now, preference distribution your job was to up. lift that primary vote for the next time that's, that's the plan and that's the plan okay thank you very much you. okay now enjoy the game today and let's hope the Freer <laughs> wins. gets over the line <laughs> <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see okay well that's it for Tom Padula TV uh, don't forget um, my TomPadulaTV.com uh, for uh, the channel, for the uh, video channel on uh, YouTube and uh, also our Sunday and Friday's programs on Channel 31 and uh, TomPadula.com for articles and interviews. And on that note, ciao, see you next time. <laughs>
Thank you.